Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about our fourth sign, which is actually the ninth sign of the zodiac, Sagittarius. But um, we started from Pisces, so this is going to be our fourth edition. The shadow side of the Sagittarius man. Now, this is a very, very interesting sign because they really don't care what people think and all that stuff so Sagittarians won't really be pressed about anything that I say today so first and foremost you know how I say like on each every axis has an inner and an outer expression so Gemini Sagittarius's opposite sign is the internalized expression and Sagittarius is the physical expression. So they're both restless in a way. Geminis are known for um, gossiping and um, just running off at the mouth, like accumulating information, basically. And Sagittarius is, they're restless, they're all over the place. They're the sign that represents travel, long distance travel, while Gemini represents short distance travel. So Sagittarians are restless in a way um they can't just like their minds like in school they can't sit down for too long they have to be actively participating in something in something their attention spans are very very short so that's one thing that they carry all through their life they have to manage it of course at some point but it's natural for them to get bored easily. Do you know what I mean? So that's one, what I consider a shadow of the Sagittarian experience. Um, Sagittarians are also very fearful, just like Pisces. Very fearful of commitment. They're very big on freedom. Consider their sign. Their sign, um, their symbol, I should say, sorry, is a an archer. Half man, half horse. Half stallion and half man. He's a warrior and he has a weapon. That is the only sign in the zodiac that carries a weapon. To shoot to the stars. They love to go hunting. They love their freedom. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's not often you see a being that's half animal and half human. So they are beasts. It's a reminder that Sagittarians are, I don't want to say primitive in nature, but like they're, yeah, they're very, I don't know, what's the word for just going with your instincts? They're very impulsive in a way. They get certain bursts of inspiration or energy and boom, they're gone. Oh, I have to leave. I have to leave. That is Sagittarians for you. So this means they're not always the most reliable people. So I don't think reliable when I think of Sagittarians at all. So they're unreliable. Um, they fear commitment to people, to just responsibility in general so um that gives them like a lot of issues people who can't understand that about them have issues with them when they do certain things like in relationships but once you get to know them you don't even take it personally because that's just really how Sagittarians are to be honest like you have to have stuff going on for yourself too so but um I don't advise water sign women, especially Scorpios, to date a Sagittarian man. Yeah. Just save yourself all the drama. Um, what else? Sagittarians are very, very intellectual. That's one thing I'll say. They're intellectual, but they're not like Virgo, where it just comes naturally, ruled by Mercury. You know what I mean? They're ruled by Jupiter, so they want to know... Um, the meaning of life they 
they'd want to learn everything that's out of the box, it makes a lot of them very arrogant. When someone gets higher learning and stuff, like, shouldn't that humble you? I don't know, but Sagittarians, a lot of the time, it makes them really arrogant. The more educated the the Sagittarian person is, the more arrogant they become. Also, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but are Sagittarians like the master opportunists or not? They'll literally backstab a friend or like, you know, someone who was once their confidant. Because they have this grass is always greener mentality. And that's what happens when a sign is naturally lucky. Like, um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the most expansive planet, the largest planet. So a lot of times things come to them a little bit easier. They don't have to uh, do the toiling that a Capricorn may have to do or someone with heavy Saturn energy. Um... This makes them take people for granted because they feel like most of the blessings that they have was like on their own accord. They don't want to like bring luck into it or say maybe they're just favored or this person helped them out. You know, they, they're like, oh, whatever. I'll, you know, I don't need to take care of this car. I'll get another one. So they have that type of mentality, which is not a good thing either. Another shadow side of Sagittarians is um, the fact that they can be rather rude sometimes. People want to say it's honesty. Like, even with the word honesty, I feel like there's a time and a place for everything. And there's a way that you should talk to people. Sagittarians, sometimes, it can be honesty, but... The way they talk will make you feel like they have no class, no decorum. Um, You don't need to use certain words just because you're upset at the service you just received or something like that. There's being real and then there's just being mean. There's just being impolite, you know. So I would say like Libran people usually don't have a problem with that. But Sagittarians definitely um aries yeah definitely so those two signs maybe leo here and there i would say fire signs because they're very um impulsive they have a problem with that like watch your mouth um sagittarians mouth will get them in trouble a lot of times like in gatherings really they will honestly they will oh you've gained so much weight oh my god oh, you know this mm-mm. it's like dude be quiet please <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Also, if you're in a relationship with the Sagittarius, they're not um, going to be the type to carry your secrets to the grave and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes they're like blabbermouth and you can't really trust them. Let's not forget that, you know, they're kind of partnered up with Geminis and you know how Geminis are. Um, If you guys break up and they feel like you've betrayed them or something like that, they're not beyond letting out your secrets um they might in fact start a slander campaign against you um they might exaggerate stories and like just do stuff like that that um that will make you question their loyalty in the first place they share that with scorpio in the sense that they're all in invested in friendships so they get like really really upset they're not the type to like Virgo it out, like I would say, and just you know say, oh, good riddance. The you're gonna know, you're gonna hear back, like oh, the, this person was talking about you. That's very very Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. They're the types to abandon you with kids, abandon you with debt, um, just up and leave if they're no longer happy. Like I said, they have this grass is always greener mentality, so they are looking for a partner that'll make them feel like they still have like the freedom to up and leave and often they do choose to just up and leave um if you're somebody that's comfortable with that you probably will have a great relationship with them but for most people they're not looking for that so that's one of the biggest problems that they have in relationships you know 
they're wanting to balance singlehood and being in a relationship and for most people that doesn't work so i think that pretty much sums it up i don't want to make this video super long so please share with me more things to look for that are on the shadow side in the comment section and yeah